Hey, what's up guys? Camp and Rusher here. The Avatar event update has officially begun. There's been some random vaults, some issues with the update, and we're talking about God of War in this video as well. Kratos specifically. Stick around, it's a big one. So let's start with Avatar stuff. It's out now. It goes until May 3rd officially. Of course, the event pass at this point, you know everything that's in it, but just a reminder, the paid for and the free version. 1,000 V-Bucks if you want to get a couple of the, the Aang styles, right? Shirtless Aang and, I don't know, normal Aang, however you want to look at it. New Mythics, Firebending, Airbending, and Earthbending. And then Avatar Chests that guarantee the Mythics to spawn. So, couple issues, or I guess unfortunate things with this update is they have now vaulted all of the Season 2 Mythics until May 3rd. So this entire event, I don't know if it was just because... There was too many mythics in game. I thought that was kind of going to be the fun of it, having, what, six, seven mythics in the game. But yeah, wings are gone, chains of Hades are gone, Zeus lightning bolt, they'll return once all of the avatar mythics are vaulted. Uh, but with that, there's an issue with earthbending. I didn't get a chance to use it, but earthbending has been vaulted, I assume, temporarily. I think sometimes it wasn't doing damage. There was just things not working correctly with it. I hope they bring it back. I'm assuming they'll bring it back fairly quickly, but at the time of filming this, it is not here right now. And the Avatar Times Rocket League collab has also released. This counts as Epic Games news as, as, uh, as same owners as Fortnite, right? So Ang Octane decal, four elements boost transferring over to Fortnite. So yeah, you can get this stuff in Fortnite as well, Rocket Racing or just on your car in Battle Royale. The other decals will most likely be supported when the cars they're linked to eventually join Fortnite. I I'm assuming all Rocket League items or most are going to end up being transferable between the two games. I think that's a huge goal of Epics. Uh, how long that's going to take is still up in the air, but they're adding more stuff, uh, it seems, with every update. Of course, at the end of the Avatar update, there's more stuff to look forward to because May the 4th, is Star Wars Day. And we've got a couple things that we know about it so far. There's going to be a new skin, Rebel Leia Organa. And you got to look there of what it's going to be based on. That's not the official skin, but it's reference as we don't have a look at the skin yet. So that's exciting. And then there's going to be the new Wookiee weapon. I've got it going in the background. We've known about this since the start of the season. Uh, the the Bowcaster. Yeah, and I'm thinking if that drops, they've got to bring Chewbacca with with that weapon. It would only make sense. That's just a theory. We know the weapon's coming. We know Rebel Leia is coming. And the, the Wookiee thing is, is just me theorizing. So it's exciting. I'm a big Star Wars fan. So uh, yeah, even though I'll be sad Avatar is ending, it, it's a nice transition the day after we get another big update. Proximity Chat is coming soon to Fortnite Creative. I don't know if this is a good idea. It's going to be awesome, but man, they better have some rules in place. We know uh, Proximity Chat, Game Chat can get fairly toxic if in the wrong hands, but it's happening. And uh, I'll, of course, update you when we know more about you know, how they're going to monitor this, what the punishments are going to be if, you know, you're caught saying some not so tasteful things to other players. Here's the chat settings uh, that'll be available once it drops. The big one here is at which distance will voice chat be heard, be enabled. So it is going to be cool. Like, uh, of course, besides the toxic stuff, there is a lot of cool uh, functions that can have and it can improve and really create a lot of new games that otherwise wouldn't work with without proximity chat. We'll see. Subscribe, turn your notice. Of course, I'll keep you up to date as soon as we get more. Fortnite times Fallout. Could we be getting a collab happening soon? Fallout 4 is getting a big update on April 25th, and alongside that, the game will be released on the Epic Game Store. So it sounds like a pretty good time for this to happen. The last time Beth, I've never been able to say this, the creators of the game uh, released a big game on the store. We got a Fortnite collab for it. So patterns say this is going to happen. Also keep in mind, there's a completely new show for Fallout that was just released actually on April 10th. So if we get a collab, I guess we could also see elements of the show in it. So basically a a lot of things pointing towards Fortnite times Fallout happening soon. And, and yeah, around that April 25th date, probably our next downtime update is when we'll be able to confirm if this is happening or not. Fortnite are currently working on a new billboard way to display some items in the shop. We currently don't know what it looks like, but maybe HypeX says here it's a, it's a remake of this old scrap design from 2020. I like this, honestly. Another way to 
broadcast the big stuff going on in the item shop. We know over the last few days there's been some controversial changes, some moves. Uh, the item shop, though, wasn't one of them. Starting in May, Epic has announced that there's going to be individual item shop timers for each cosmetic in the shop rather than just one big general item shop uh, reset timer. I'm actually a big fan of this, so I'm glad they announced that. This billboard thing would be a nice little uh, addition on top of that. And of course, the, the annoying thing or the thing that we're still a little angry about is the removal of cosmetic rarity. Basically, all the rarities are now the exact same apart from some of the Icon series, Gaming Legends series, some of the collab stuff. And yeah, people aren't too happy about this. At this point, Epic has not responded. I don't think this is going to change. They're just going to take the... Uh, the, the backlash on the chin, it looks like. And of course, I'll let you know if we get anything on this. If you want more details, check out my last video. We went into why this could be a really bad thing. What are their goals? Like they said, it's not to price things higher, but then they dropped the Avatar collab and these are some of the most expensive skins we've seen in a long time. So the timing was poor. I do believe them when they say it, but yeah, they just timed this thing a little bit incorrectly and yeah it's it just the update is i don't think they're gonna budge even with the amount of negativity we've seen with this change fortnite have randomly removed every mention of the weapon charms cosmetic that's been in the files for a, a while now it's strange because they didn't remove any other scrap cosmetic type like hats bus themes etc so maybe they're preparing for a release with first person later this year along with chapter six this is of course just theory but yeah there's a bunch of stuff we've known about in the files new cosmetic types that he mentioned there some of the stuff we may never see but the weapon charms thing it really only makes sense to me or it adds so much value if first person is a thing and they have confirmed that first person is going to be a an option a device for creative map makers and so I don't know if we're even going to see it as a battle royale thing, like an official epic mode. Maybe we will, but they have not confirmed that. So even then, I don't know if weapon charms line up. Like if it's not an official thing, uh, I'm sure first person's not going to have a ton of players if Epic doesn't do something with it themselves. So I don't know what this means. Just I, I would say less likely that weapon charms are happening, especially in the near future here. Some good news though, some free stuff. People who reached level 200 before the super level variants were fixed, uh, you've actually been granted something. The poison back bling, you got it for free. This is, I guess, a, an apology for uh, the issues that they had with, uh, it was just a glitch, right? You hit 200 and you just didn't have enough stars to max everything out. That is now fixed. You can get everything now if you hit 200, but the delay for people who grinded, you get a little bit of a reward for it. So enjoy the free item. And this is kind of the hype, the good news. We're still waiting. God of War Kratos. Kratos was added back to the item shop API. He's ready to go. It is happening, but we found out about this like three weeks ago. So you're probably wondering where is he at? We still don't have official confirmation, but we've got a good theory here from Hypex. God of War 2018's anniversary is on April 20th. So his guess is that Fortnite might be keeping the return of the bundle until that day, hopefully. And it doesn't look like we're getting any new Kratos stuff here, uh, especially because with our downtime update, there wasn't anything new added. No young Kratos or anything like that at this point, but the return of the skin will be very exciting. It is happening, and April 20th is our best guess so far. Happy Power also dropped a little brag on us because he showed a photo of... Uh, uh, Kratos looking really good with the Ares back bling slash pickaxe that of course came with our crew pack subscription this month. Ares is a great skin. And then I think he's just, he's showing off that he's got the, uh, that he's got the Kratos skin. And I know a lot of people are looking forward to purchasing this thing. So of course, code the camp and rusher. Thanks for watching though. You guys touch that like button. Take care. Talk soon. Goodbye.